Hey, what's up, guys? In today's video, we will be creating this kind of amazing neon glowing text effect in Photoshop. This is fully customizable. I mean, I can change the text color, I can change the color of the lights, I can move these lights around, I can create as many wires as I want, and the best thing is I can edit the text. I can also use my logo if I want to. By the way, you can download this project file from the link in the video's description. It is absolutely for free. There will be so much fun in creating this effect. I hope you will learn a lot of new things. So hit the like button and let's jump to the Photoshop. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop and the first thing that we need to do is to create new document. I'm going with the full HD resolution with the size of 1920 by 1080 and the resolution is 72 pixel per inch. Click on create. For the background, let's drag and drop this image into the Photoshop. By the way, you can download these kind of images from Envato Elements. They have 7 day free trials, so if you want to check them out, click on the link in the video's description. Anyways, let's scale it and press enter to confirm it. Now delete this layer because we do need it. Let's create a black and white adjustment layer on top of it to remove all of the colors. Now create a curves adjustment layer and adjust the curves just like this to make the image darker. Now create a gradient adjustment layer. Click on this drop down menu and select this black and white preset. Change its style to radial and increase its scale to about 200%. Check the reverse option and then hit OK. Now change its blend mode to multiply. Also, drop down its opacity to about 75%. It will add this nice vignette effect. Now, the background is ready, so select all of these layers and put them in a group by pressing Ctrl G. Rename it Background. Next, select the Type tool. Click inside the canvas and type your text. By the way, you can download this font from the link in the video's description. Anyways, press Ctrl Enter to confirm it. Pick your Move tool and move the text into the center. Now, put this layer in a group by pressing Ctrl G. Rename it text. Right click on this group and choose blending option. In the layer style menu, click on stroke. Size is 3 pixel. Position is outside. And the color is white. It will make the font a little bit bold. Now click on drop shadow. Blend mode is multiply. The color is black. Opacity is 100%, angle is 90 pixel, distance in split is 20, and the size is 70 pixel. Now click on this plus icon to add another drop shadow. This time the blend mode is linear dutch add. Pick any vibrant color that you like. I'm going with this greenish color. Hit OK. Opacity is 100%, distance is 0 pixel, split is 0, and the size is 40 pixel. Click on this plus icon to add another drop shadow. Increase its size to 50. Now add another one. This time increase its size to 80. And then just keep adding drop shadow and increase its size step by step. Hit OK when you are done with it. Now for the glow, let's create new layer and rename it glow. Create a solid color adjustment layer and pick the color that we use for the glow. Hit OK. Let's drag it beneath the text group. Select its layer mask and press Ctrl I to invert it. Pick the brush tool. Make sure your foreground color is white. Right click on the canvas and select the soft round brush. Also increase its size to about 600 pixel. And then draw a brush just like this. Now change its blend mode to color dodge and drop down its opacity to about 40%. By the way, hit the subscribe button if you are not subscribed to this channel yet. Anyways, next create a hue and saturation adjustment layer and by moving the slider we can change its color. So let's rename it text color. Now for the lights, let's create new layer and rename it light 1. Create a gradient adjustment layer. Click on this drop down menu and select this black and white preset. Click here to edit it. Select this white point and change its color. Let's pick this green color. Hit OK. Hit OK again. Change its style to radial 
and then hit OK. Now change its blend mode to color dodge. Double click on it. And now you can move it. So let's move it to the left side. Hit OK. Duplicate this layer by pressing Ctrl J. Double click on it. And move it right here. Now duplicate it once again by pressing Ctrl J. Double click on it. And move it to the right side just like this. Hit OK. Now select these three layers and put them in a group by pressing Ctrl G. Rename it Lights. Next, create a hue and saturation adjustment layer. Click on this icon to create a layer mask so that it will only limit the layer beneath it. But now when we change its color, it is affecting everything beneath it. So to fix this problem, let's undo it. Open this group. Select these three layers. And change its blend mode to screen. Put this adjustment layer inside the group. Select the group and change its blend mode to color dodge. And now when we try to change its color, it is affecting the layer only inside the group. Let's rename it Lights Color. Now it's time to make the wires. Create a new layer above the background. Rename it Wires. Make sure your foreground color is black. Select the brush tool. Pick this hard round brush and decrease its size to about 10 pixel. Increase its smoothness to 50%. And then draw a few lines just like this. And now as you can see it is 2D and looking boring. So to make it 3D, right click on this layer and choose blending option. In the layer style menu click on bevel and emboss. Style is inner bevel. Technique is smooth. Depth is 50%. Size is 7 pixel. Angle is 90. Altitude is 45. Highlight opacity is 40 and the shadow opacity is 70. Click on drop shadow. Opacity is 60%. Distance is 40 and the size is 15. Hit OK when you are done. And now you can create as many lines as you want. You can also change the text color. Double click on this layer. And by moving this slider you can change its color. Let's change the light's color. You can also edit the text. Open this group. Double click on this layer. And from here you can change the text. And of course you need to recreate the wires. So to clear these wires, select this layer. Press Ctrl A to select whole canvas. And press delete key to remove this pixel. And then draw new lines just like this. You can also use your logo. Just drag and drop your logo into the Photoshop. Scale it down. And press enter to confirm it. Right click on it and choose blending option. First thing that we need to do is to drop down its fill opacity to 0% and then click on stroke. Size is about 3 pixel. And the position is inside. Hit OK. Now convert this layer into a smart object. Let's hide this text for now and then put this logo inside this group and it will do everything for you. Let's remove these wires and create new ones. Let's change its color to something like bluish and also change the color of the lights. By the way, if you want to learn how to create this design, you can watch this video. So thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it. Hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Also ring the bell icon so you will get notified whenever I post a new video just like this one. I'll be catch you in my next video. Till then, peace.